Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I would like to share with all of you a message from Medjugorje, which warns people about the happening of the event called Three Days of Darkness in the rest of 2023. Before we proceed to the core of the message, may you not forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel so as to be able to access the latest messages from above. Stay with us and listen to this video until the very end. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so and recite this short prayer to our Blessed Mother. O Immaculate Heart of Blessed Mother, I consecrate myself to thee, and I consecrate my family, my home and everything in it, to thy Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to thee our physical, psychic, biological and spiritual being, and all that we are, have and do. Protect us, dear Mother with thy light's rays that pour out from thy immaculate heart and hide us in thy lap. Do not allow, sweet Mother, none of the inhabitants of this home be lost, give us thy peace and strength in difficult times of our test. May our faith in God and trust in thee, O sweet Mother, be the passport to arrive us safe to the gates of new creation. Amen. On October 29, 1997, Ivan Dragicevic, one of the six Medjugorje visionaries, gave a speech in Seattle, Washington. He addressed inquiries and provided perspectives on obscure riddles and Catholic oddities during his discussion. This is what had been said by Ivan himself, it genuinely brings me great joy to see Our Lady every day. My family is quite happy about it, but there is also a lot of responsibility involved. God has given me so much, but I also realize that He has high expectations for me. And trust me when I say that it is quite challenging to see Our Lady, appreciate Her, celebrate with Her, and rejoice with Her, then return to this world. Her son, the King of Peace, is the ancestor of Our Lady. Our Lady arrives to show us the way and the path by which we can approach her son and ultimately, God. She wants to grab our hands and lead us to God and to serenity. Dear children, if there is no peace in the human heart, there cannot be peace in this world, she writes in one of her messages. You must therefore ask for serenity through prayer. Therefore, you must pray for peace throughout the world, but Our Lady is quite concerned about the current state of affairs. My son has sent me to you, she replied, so that I may assist you. Dear children, there must be harmony between God and humanity. The present state of the world is one of enormous peril and self-destruction. Ivan's discourse focused on the importance of Our Lady's plan for peace and her aspirations for humanity, but the Prophet also debunked some widely held beliefs about upcoming events. Ivan noted that there are many people in the world today talking about various types of phobias. Many people now talk about the three days of darkness and various punishments, and frequently I hear people claim that this is what Our Lady of Medjugorje teaches. Ivan was asked, What advice do you provide folks who are concerned about the three days of darkness during the question and answer period? Ivan, as I stated at the outset, this is not anything Our Lady told us, so I'm not sure where it came from. However, as I have already stated, what should we be afraid of if we think that Our Lady is with us? Why is there a need for fear? Although it would be very impossible to adequately express to you the love that Our Lady has for every one of us, I would like to let you know that she is carrying us all in her maternal heart as she gives us the gift of serenity. Every day, we must be open and pray together and individually. There is a crisis in the family among children, teens, and even in the church, especially in today's troubled globe. The crisis of trust in God is currently the most significant crisis. Families have alienated themselves from God, which has caused people to do the same. It's Our Lady speaking. 
It is God's grace. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to their protection, implored thy help, or sought the intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having employed the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously, to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity, shield, too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us also recite the act of contrition together, that outlawed by his most precious blood and sacrifice on Calvary. May cleanse of all our iniquity and sin, and grant us the grace to feel truly saddened and remorseful, for all the transgressions and sins that we have committed intentionally and unintentionally that he may also give us the grace to do all the necessary penances, and never commit these grievous sins any more. O oh my God, I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of digest punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.